So no Castillo for the Yankees. Uh, who is Brian Cashman turning his attention to? Well, Frankie Montas seems to be the obvious guy of the A's. He's probably the best starter out there. And Cashman, there's a lot of pressure on him now to get this done because he didn't have the, the prospects to go get. He couldn't match up with uh, the Reds with Castillo. Seattle had too much on because he wasn't willing to give up Volpe. <clears throat> so now what does he do? Montas, you know, it's going to take a lot to get him still. If not, he has to turn to guys like, I mean, maybe would you take a shot with Syndergaard, bring him back to New York, uh, Quintana, uh, the Pirates, maybe, look, Pablo Lopez with the, Mar Mar uh, the Mariners, I mean, the Marlins, there's always a possibility he would be available. But Montas seems like the best choice. I think Cashman really needs to pool his prospects. I know he's not giving up Volpe, but other than that, he's got to find a way to get it done. I guess we'll see. Well, the Mets have made some minor moves. We saw Tyler Naquin make his season debut uh, for the Mets on Saturday night. The Cubs, Wilson Contreras and David Robertson are names that the Mets have uh, had interest in, but reports are that the asking price is too high. So realistically, what do you see Billy Epler pulling off? Well, look, you, you, you never know what to believe this time of year, right before the deadline. And so a lot of times these prices, they will come down right at the end or maybe go up. Depends how many teams are actually bidding on, on these guys. So I think that's the best match. Robertson's the perfect guy to put in that eighth inning uh, for the Mets, and Contreras would help too. But if not, you can turn. It looks like I mean, the Red Sox are floundering. You know, maybe they make uh, J.D. Martinez available. He'd fit as that right-handed bat, uh, and Vasquez is a catcher as well. So I think they have options. But Robertson and, and, and a guy like Daniel Bard might be available as an eighth inning guy as well from the Rockies. But I think the, that is the perfect match. Epler has the guys. It's, there's no doubt the Mets have enough prospects. It's just a matter of how are they willing to give up one of their top guys to get something like that done. Both of these guys are rentals from the Cubs, so you wouldn't think so. But if there's other teams bidding, the price can go up, as uh, you're hearing now. Do you see a scenario where the Mets can't make a trade? No, they'll do something. They, they, they're too committed. They're all in here. Uh, what they've done so far helps with Vogelback and, and Naquin, your favorite guy. Uh, but, so, but I think they're going to do better than that. They need a right-handed bat. We just talked about it before. And they, need, they desperately need bullpen help. That's more important than anything. Not sure why you said favorite guy. I don't play favorites, <laughs> so I don't know where that came from. But John Harper, thank you so much for your insights.